That's cool. I wonder if I can recreate that. But first, I think I need to get some cereal and milk. Alright, so today I'm going to try and recreate the commercial that you guys just saw at the start of the video made by Daniel Schiffer. And I'm going to do it with my phone. Hey look, you can see my ring light behind. This is a Samsung Galaxy S10 Plus and it's the phone that I'm going to use to shoot the commercial today. And no, this is not a sponsored video, although if anybody from Samsung Singapore watching this video would like to sponsor me, uh, maybe drop me a DM. I could totally use a new phone, um, preferably the new Samsung Galaxy phone. So in the commercial that we are going to recreate today, the guy used Cheerios, but I'm going to go with Fruit Loops because who doesn't love Fruit Loops? And again, I'm going to say that this video is not sponsored by Kellogg's, but again, like Samsung, if anybody from Kellogg's Singapore watching this, if you'd like to sponsor me, maybe drop an email. I love Fruit Loops. And for all you impatient people out there just wanting to see the final product of the commercial without looking at me go through the grueling process of filming this commercial, you can skip to this timestamp. But once you look at the final product, be sure to come back to the start of the video to watch the whole thing because I guarantee you it's gonna be quite an interesting process. Uh, and before I begin, I'd just like to say that I totally don't know what I'm doing because I have no background in filmmaking nor advertising and it might actually turn out as a complete failure. Yeah, but we'll see. Yeah, but without further ado, um, let's get started. So here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to break down the commercial scene by scene. So in the first scene, Daniel uses stop motion. So what I'm going to do is lay out the Fruit Loops in groups of 1, 2, 4, and 16, and 20, and then take a picture in that order. Alright, so in the second scene, we've got to get this cereal box to spin around the table once. And in the video, Daniel drilled a screw through his table, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to stick a screwdriver on the table of scotch tape and we'll see how that works out. Alright, so I've got a nail stuck down there. Let's see if it will spin. <laughs> Darling, you Seems to work. Alright, so for scene 3 is fairly easy. All I've got to do is take a top-down video of me opening the cereal packet. Now scene 4 is the most difficult shot of the whole commercial. First, I've got to get a shot of the cereal box rotating in mid-air by sticking it to a light stand like how Daniel did it and then remove the stand when I did it. Sounds easy, right? But when I did it, it took me one hour to mask out the background. Afterwards, I had to get a slow-mo shot of the seal being thrown into the air and let me say I filmed that sequence many, many times and I made quite a mess. Then at the end, it was just a matter of combining both the shots together in the editing software. Mom's gonna kill me, man. Scene 5. Scene 5 was a very easy shot because all I had to do was pour some cereal into the box, pour it out and take a slow-mo video of it. Darling, you send me. I know you send me. 
So the last few shots were all fairly easy. Scene 6 was just a different video perspective of pouring the cereal into a bowl. This shot was fairly tricky to do because unlike Daniel, I had no one to help me push the camera while I poured the milk. But luckily, I got the shot on the first attempt. So the final two scenes 8 and 9 wasn't too hard to do because all I had to do was take a close-up shot of me pouring the milk. And that's it! Overall, it was a very fun video to make, although the whole commercial took me 3 days to film and edit. And I've got to say, I'm quite proud of the results. And yeah, that's it for this video. If you guys like this type of videos, do let me know down in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye!